Hey, Laura. Hey, Paul. Hey, buddy. Oh. Whoa! You know you can't bring that weak ass stuff up in this humpy bumpy. You killed it, Joe. You made some more. You know that, baby. Else you're in for a long day. A long day. Cause triple T's up in this bitch. Some people said I was crazy when I brought Terry on board, but I'm a firm proponent of paradigm breaking, outside the box thinking. And since Terry's been with us, our productivity has gone up 46%. <laughs> Break was over 15 minutes ago, bitch! I am an enforcer, man. Don't nothing go down in my house. It's 100% hard, baby. Sure, I jack a few fools. I give them the pain. But sometimes it's about intimidation, you know. <laughs> it's mind games. <laughs> Sorry. All right, I'll see you later. <laughs> But what's really impressed me is how Terry's become part of the Felcher family. He fits right in here. Surprise, Jim! Happy birthday! As profits increase, the margin reaches a second break-even point here, after which enterprise falls into loss. Any questions? You know you need a cover sheet on your TPS reports, Richard! That ain't new, baby! Hey, Terry. Hey, Janice! Motherfucker! That's not to say that Terry's gone soft. He still does what he does best. <laughs> Of course, the office environment is, in fact, a violent world, and injuries do occur. Hi, Terry. Hey, Dana. Oh, oh, no! Oh, God! Oh, oh. Playing hurt? Baby, that don't phase me. I don't got time for pain. The only pain I got time for is the pain I put on fools who don't know what time it is. Any bitch ass thing I don't lost a step because of what happened? Because of what happened to my knee and such? Well, he ain't for a surprise. A rude, painful surprise! Ah! Ah! Oh, baby, yeah! To be honest, I wish I had 10 Terry Tates on Team Felcher. People said that hiring an office linebacker was a gimmick, a cheap publicity stunt. Oh! But with Terry Tate's proven motivational techniques, our productivity is up another 46% for the year. That's not to say that I play favorites in the Felcher family. So, when I received Paul's complaint... Cut the cheese? I, I'm lactose intolerant. Terry Tate assaulted me. That's just not right. My hands were tied. I had to follow employee handbook policy. So, we brought in Geneva Stover, a human resource consultant with Sanchez Steamer and Company, to run a workshop on office sensitivity. <laughs> Interesting. The first rule of sensitivity is that every human has a personal bubble that should never be penetrated without HR approval. Anyone observed in non-compliance will receive one of these. A badge of shame. Any questions? You're fired. Sensitivity training? <laughs> hey, man, I'm a sensitive mother My tackling knows no race, gender, or creed. So bring it on. I'm an equal opportunity hit a machine, baby, all day, every day. Believe that. <laughs> Damn, friend, you know. Mr. Tate. It was obvious we had an E11 situation with Mr. Tate. I had no choice but to ask him to turn in his jersey and reassign him to a desk job. Special bubble? This woman can't come up my house and tell Triple T that he has trouble with the special bubble? 
Look, man, playing out of position, that ain't Terry's game. You can take the fish out the sea, but you ain't ever gonna take the linebacker out of me. Believe that. This is Roger. Hey, bigger than ever. <laughs> hey, you burger flipper. I was about to call you, man. How's it hanging? Yeah, just call me Butter, baby. I'm on a roll. <laughs> oh, speaking of rolls. <laughs> hey, can I get some fries with that shake? <laughs> Make that a double. <laughs> well, I'm open to refining the paradigm. Um, Roger, may I have your permission to initiate physical contact upon your person? Let's see. No. The new rules of engagement were affecting our bottom line. Workplace morale plummeted. Mom? And horseplay rose sharply. <laughs> And, as it turns out, like all great revolutionaries, Geneva had a fatal flaw. Hey, Pablo. Facial hair drives me wild. It seems that even human resource executives might be human, <laughs> after all. Ever since Geneva's unfortunate departure, our productivity has gone back to record levels. And as I've always said, if it ain't something that's broken, then there's no need to repair it. Terry had worked for 1,000 straight days without an absence of any kind. And state law mandated that he take at least two weeks vacation. Now, I know he didn't want to go, but I'm sure he's having a great time down there. Look, man, fun is fun. Ain't no problem with chilling when the chilling's right. But when things ain't happening the way they're supposed to happen, you know Triple T gonna condense the nonsense. Just because I'm on vacation, don't mean I'm out to lunch. I come to play, baby. Justin, I ordered those eggs 40 minutes ago. Don't make me scramble you again, son. Uh, we were aware that Mr. Tate was a discerning guest, but it seems that we weren't fully prepared for exactly how discerning he was. <laughs> Truly, I've never seen anything like it. During his stay here, our hotel was never more efficient. Hey! hey, hey. That crap ain't punch, baby! That crap ain't punch! Quite simply. Mr. Tate was the best guest we have ever had here. And I think we actually got him to loosen up a bit and enjoy his vacation. Of course, it goes without saying, Mr. Tate is welcome back here anytime. Terry here, the office environment deteriorated rapidly. Things went from bad to worse to downright strange. With Terry back, everything quickly returned to business as usual. You get me, Timmy Tom! I'll be here! Woo! I just pray it's another thousand days before we have to do without him again. Well, Terry's back, and I got a new game for you. It's called How Much Pain Can Gene Stand Before Gene Learns Not to Play Games Anymore? That's my game. That's Terry's game. And when it's game time, it's pain time, baby. Woo! I just do my job, man. 
I do what my God-given abilities allow me to do, and I thank Jesus Christ for it every single day. And do I enjoy what I do? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Kitchen and kick my dog and take a box full of ballpoints. This must be crazy.